Madden's looking to sell this fake at B. Just the P250 in hand, and he's going to sneak through. He's going to sneak in. Oh, no, this man has a flash out, but Madden almost whiffs the kill. He just about gets it, keeps his cool, and now Astralis could be confused by this. Madden with a second kill onto the B site, but it's the A play about to come through. Oh, it'll be one kill for Magisk. Crystal hitting the deck and a man advantage put in place for God's sake. And quite a bit of control now as the Stars need to try and figure out what is happening. This attack into the A bomb site continues to run through. Dupree from Library trying to connect headshots, but it's Device who takes down Madden on the other side of the map. He can now come back and assist the rest of the team on towards this A site. A little bit of damage done from Farley from the pit. He'll just hide behind the wall. 30 seconds. That bomb's still not down. It's on the back of Farley who needs to get on towards the site itself. And Astralis just sit back and Magisk with the headshot. Suddenly, the advantage is back in favor of Astralis. And Zen and Sticko trying to make this round work. Ball is down. Device still on the B-bomb site. What a weird piss around this is. So strange. Device gets the kit, so that's going to help him on the retake attempt. Dupree still in the apartments, and both the Godsent players trapped on the bomb site. This could be a rough post plant for them. Long range fights already coming through. Dupree can't connect. Sticko's still sitting in the back lines, but Zen's been dealt with. It's all on Sticko, and he gets domed. Dupree in the apartments, nailing both of those shots. Smoke going down towards the site, and they're lining up this push. Yeah, this will not be easy for Godstone to get anywhere near the site, but they have pulled one kill in their favor. It's Magisk who's gone down to the AG, and Glaive as well, swinging into the open. That allows an avenue of approach Ooh. to the B-bomb site. As they go through the archway, they'll attack C2 spawn. Loki to pull themselves back. It's Esetai trying to get into position on time. But a godsend have got so many players coming this way. And it's only an MP9 for Esetai to be a nuisance with. Crystal will be clearing the site. Zen is being left in library to cut off the rotation. And now it's all on Esetai and Dupree. Who are pulling this round back for Astralis. The kills have come through. It's now Zen and Sticko in a 2v2 clutch. And Dupree with it all to do. And he's won the round. Three kills picked up for Astralis. And it's 2-0 unbelievable round yet again so that bomb plant that secures so much extra cash for them they don't really have the utility farley and crystal are going to be the players carrying the most of it and farley's just gone down i believe he was the player that had the most utility and he's out of there Ooh, nice nade at least but there aren't many more where that came from crystal the only man oh, with no. any utility and the flash is so good for s attack two easy kills on banana I think Godsent are going to finally have to bow out of this early force by war. Zen only gets one kill on the round. And finally, something they didn't have last time. And those nades have done damage. Oh, Get no. And device done for. Great flash from Madden. Easy kill for Crystal. They've had some good utility usage from both teams at the start of this mm. game. But this time, it's Godsent with a clean pick. Zen might give it away, though. Oh, no, he's got it. He's got it in the back. What a weird situation. Zen on the flank and another flank through CT spawn. What, what is that? What, what, what's going on there? Dupree is caught by the timing. And now Glaive's turn to try and shine on the B-bomb. So he's got one into Crystal. What pulls the Molotov? And Madden was already in an advanced position. Esetai tries to dive through the smoke. But the round is done. Astralis, they get caught off by everything. Finally, a little bit of luck going Godsense way. Also, good utility usage, I have to say, from them. I think Madden was one of the best pickups, right? And Dupree is going to charge down Banana Zen, hitting the deck. Chris Stoll picks up one for God's sake. Glyph barely alive, and he will get around the corner. That itchy grenade would have caught him, but he is gone. Back to the side itself. I've been loving some of these T-side setups. You can see how aware God's set are right now. They always have a player in the midst on the other side of the map. This time it's Sticko catching up Device. And he's got... Potential to get kills across every part of this map right now. Magisk always oh, boosted up the head. Spotted for Madden. Ooh. That's an easy kill for Magisk. I thought Madden was going to be backing up and maybe spotting Magisk, but to take a couple of different approaches to this round. And he's committed to A, the time limiting factor. He feels like this A bomb site could be good enough. Looking for a plant, but he goes too wide and Glaive will spot him from the balcony. Huge star performances for this team. Now Glaive with the aggression in the banana, he's got so much control, but he only gets the one kill. Too often do we see players who find themselves in that spot frag out for at least two. But luckily Godsend able to trade back after the one casualty. And now it's Esther turn, and through the smoke catches Crystal. 
Molly goes down, but Godsent already on the site. Farley taking damage, though, as he crosses onto the site itself. That's the tag lining oh, no. this up. Oh, he's nearly got it. Farley just about gets that bomb down. It's going to be a 3v3 post plant, and Godsent still have that CT smoke up for now. What oh, this damn is so damn close. That's the tag with the headshot sticko. Taking down through the stained glass window, and now it's all on set, trying to win the round for God's sake, and it's not gonna happen. That just swings on by in terms of taking that banana control, and God's sake have just forced them back towards top banana. This is fantastic. The sticker takes it into the head, device throwing the itchy at him, but it's Dupree that'll end up taking the kill. A man advantage found by Astralis. And this A-bomb site is looking quite strong now that they have full apartments control. Dupree's gonna go on a bit of a walk. And I, if I'm coming into this A-bomb site, I'm scared. Look at Dupree. He's that boiler. He's gonna find one. That's the bomb. The second kill as well. Dupree has shut this round down. And Madden is left alone in a 1v4 that he just cannot win. He gets four kills because of it. And Dupree is hungry for the ace. He's not going to get it, at least not now. Madden with another parting kill on the end of the round, and he's going to get away with his life. Just over a minute left on the clock, and Godsent are taking a bit more time this time round. Previously, they were able to nade stack Magisk in pit, but this time it's Godsent taking the brunt of the nades. Dupree with an early kill. I don't know how much success Godsent are going to find here. Dupree's up against them. He is hungry for kills. Make it a third. Easy hold for Dupree. Easy hold for Magus. Towards the back lines, Estetag, who has been such an influential player on that B-bomb site, immediately picked off. Something Astralis have actually also been really solid at so far is neutralizing Sticko in those apartments. I think he has been unable to do much. Not expecting that player in Archway though, Zen. A fantastic opening kill from him, but now Magic's the time to shut them down from the pit. It's two picked up and Device will follow up. Crystal left alone in a 1v3. And it feels like Astralis are just eliminating the right amount of players as soon as God's Dead are about to go in for their execute. And they're always going in limping. And I think that's what makes Astralis such an annoying team to play against. Even when they don't maybe have the plan instantly in their head, they can quickly react to those circumstances. They can stay on top of the situation, and Crystal is going so aggressive. The flash slightly too late, though. Dupree gets the kill just before being blinded, and Magisk is here. Oh. Double spray down, what? make it a third. Magisk doing massive work from short and stick oh well he finally trades but it's another clutch this time a 1v3 which just won't be happening looks like god center currently more focused on the b side of things though just getting that early banana control astralis don't want to give it up too easily though magus here this time to fight but dupree has gone down over on the a side of the map and another pick crystal moving into b this has got to be the round Esotag holding, Farlet able to trade, and this looks like it's a second round. I'm going to confirm it for God's sake. Glaive's head falls off his shoulders, a dominant showing from the mighty Danes. We'll see if Godsend can bounce back into the second half. Is that they have a three-man stack towards B. Only two players on A. A long is currently open, and Astras are about to push this side. Uh, they come swinging into the A-bomb site with force off the top of the balcony. Sen looking for the lineup. He's found two, nearly a third kill. But it's Astralis equally trading out the site. Now Farley, Crystal, and Madden are looking for the retake. No, none of them have a kit, so they're going to have to be quite quick in terms of finding these headshots. And Cliff down the pit. They try to move forward over the top of the site. It's Magic with the first headshot going through the smoke. Oh, no. God said they tried to be quick. They tried to be shrewd with that smoke. But all ends up in is a 14th round for Astralis. And Glyph walking back up Banana. Looks like Godsend want to go with some re-aggression. The flashbang was available. Oh. Madden taking his own teammate away. He undoes his own hard work. And Crystal, the victim of the Deagle. Now Astralis just go back to A. Couple of smokes lined up. Sticko's got one in reply though. They're pushing him already. He's not ready for the pace of the SMGs. Farley's still on the site itself, but Esetag just jumps onto his position. Those SMGs having a fun time right now for Astralis. Only the two CTs remaining for Godsend. To stamp out any potential momentum, confidence, any sort of hope for Godsend. Going at the next map, and Esetag with the kill on the Madden. Rounding out this round with the time ticking by. Sam will catch UMP. He'll pick that up when fleeing the scene. 
We're just 15 to 2 for Astralis, and the money not on the line here for God's sake. They have nothing to play with, really. It's going to be a couple of Deagles. It's going to be SMGs. 20 seconds for Astralis. They're going to go back to B. They should be winning these jewels as a moment plays are very low, but that Molotov is going to delay. They have to run onto the site. Astralis, they've let the time run down so low. They have to get on this bomb very quickly, almost immediately, as soon as they arrive to the bomb site, and Madden's won the round. Astralis, what are you doing? They let the time run down until there's none left, no margin for error, and Godset needed to do nothing. But hey, it's another round win, something to celebrate if you're a Godsent fan. And after that last round took so long for Astralis, this time round they're going to see if they can get some early kills and Dupree will deliver. S and Tag with another one. This might be over. Then go right here. Yeah, I think Astralis kind of pissed off a little bit. No, just ramp it up in this last round. Okay, no more tentative approach because this is break their backs here. We'll give them a little bit of hope in the last round and we'll give them a third round. That's about it. Madden, last alive. He goes down as well. And Astralis will pick up the first map. 16 to 3. What a dominant performance coming into Inferno. And the worst part about it all is this was the map pick of Godsent. Straight in. No one here for Godsent. And this is where that lack of kit could cost them. They've got to make sure they deny that B site at least quickly. Dicko trying to see if he can hold. And he's not going to be able to do so. Madden's rotating over. But the bomb is already arriving on the B site. And this is going to be really tricky for God's death. Yeah, I feel like putting that much pressure, if you're going to use that setup, Jesus. yeah, that's that's just ridiculously quick. But if you're going to go for that setup, Alex, Sticko needs to get at least one kill towards Heaven. Astralis putting pressure towards Yard. And the shot is landed by Farley. Not too bad. They're going to get down and the headshot onto Glyph. That's a lot of damage done by Farley on the scout into this round. And maybe, just maybe, more to be done here for Gods. They have three players down on the lower side already. Two inside of the vents, the 5-7 at the bottom of the stairs. And that's the bomb into the hands of the CT players. Astralis are losing players left, right, and center. Finally fighting back with one. But is it enough? Oh, such a hard fight for Magus. Two players on the stairs position. He can't get either of them. They've got that chance now to try and reset Astralis. And great to see Farley doing some early damage as well. And 2-1. Gold sent right now. AK-47 on the hold. Stick out the first player. Under pressure yet again. Gliv going down. Farley trying to hold on. What? Three kills against the pistols, but still done in beautiful fashion. 3-1 for Gold sent. Farley has a decent position here. And he's got Cliff running in towards him. The opening headshot. This is Stralis. Is, and oh no. Zen tried to cross into the open to make the play that would pull the round back. And all he does is give away his life. That smoke fades, giving away his position. And our godsend are crumbling. One kill has come in from Crystal on A hold. But there's just too many players coming in from too many different positions. And it's Astralis. Astralis are running the clock down yet again. And they'll have to see if they can win this round with only 30 seconds left in the clock. They have to win these duels. Magic somehow wins the battle against Zen. And now Sticker's position give it away as well. He has plenty of cover to play with. And the itchy grenade seals on in. Magic goes down. And that was 17 seconds left. Astralis still nowhere near the side. They have to cross into the open. And this time it's being guarded by the AWP of Farley. Oh, good shot coming in from Crystal. Farley closing out the round. And this is where a crossfire could be established between those two players. The issue for Crystal is there are players already in lobby close by, but Zen gets a freebie. Dupree not oh. ready. Zen gets a second. Crystal helping him out. It's back to a 2v2. Molly goes down, and with 20 seconds, they've got to speed this up, Dinka. Zen nearly with a third kill. Glyph barely surviving on one HP. And now it's all on Crystal. He's used to being the AI anchor, but he needs to win the round now. Magic runs in. The headshot picked up for Astralis. And I have to feel for Zen. He does so much in that round. The push towards outside. Yep, that's one of them. And on God's Zen. Oh, they've got a kill back. It's finally doming Glyph. Taking a little too much off the top. And now that man advantage that Astralis had has fallen back into an equilibrium on the server. And they're going to try and cross the secret. They're going to do so safely with Device taking the kill onto Farley, who did have an opportunity with the gap in that smoke. Another play into the lower site. Madden showing up with the Deagle. That's the bomb top. Could he get a second? Nearly on to Magisk. 
And now Crystal and Sticko still in with a chance of winning this round. And this position from Crystal has to be checked for Astralis in the first, nearly the second on the 5-7. It's all on Sticko. Both players dropped below half HP and will reapproach this A-bomb site. Not from the ladder, not from the vent room, but instead from secret stairs to main. Oh, such a difficult angle there for Sticko. Tries to clear up Magus. Magus was one step ahead of him, though. Towards the lower side, Esther is already in the control room, and Sticko is about to fall, but he turns around, gets the kill, and Glyph luckily is there for the trade, but it's Crystal you've got to keep eyes on. The MP9 trying to get out of the window, but Magisk is there for the headshot. Oh, Farley standing in the flames. That's 20 health remaining for him. So much damage from the molly. And oh no, Madden up close. What a flick from Madden. The second headshot connects. And it's up to Magus to try and win this one. A couple of opponents low. He fakes the bomb plant, but Maiden just pushes him. Madden making the difference in this round for Godsend. It quickly turned into a 3v3. Astralis said that's because they want to have more of an ability to go for those aggressive plays we've seen them make on an individual basis. But in this round, Device has the AWP. I think for Nuke in general, that's going to be the case. Opening kill was found, but Esther Tag runs forward. That was a very risky play, and now it's brought back into a 3v3. Early trades all over the place, but Madden's caught on the bomb site. And even though Crystal's pushed into Hut, he has to solo hold this, and they're ready for him. Good shots from Dupree, who's on for the ace right now. Stick out. We'll try his best to pull the round back and deny that his bomb Dupree could do it right now. Dupree goes down. Stick out diving off the top. Oh, Device was not ready for it. And Stick out now in a one versus one. But Magisk was always on the flank. He'll come through for Astralis for the sixth round. Oh, and Godsend are going to keep the pressure on. They know that round was close. They know they've kept the T economy weak. And Farling knows that he can get the AWP into his hands and make the most of it. Device removed from the round early into the proceedings. Now, Astralis will get down secret. So again, we have to see the same response from Godsend. So far, they've been good on these rotates. This time, Crystal up close could get the kill, and he does. Godsend getting all the kills they need. And Esetag is the lone soldier remaining for Astralis. There's so many of those rounds where Godsend looks like they had a chance, but now Esetag diving to the bottom of the vent. He'll run back up the ladder with the 8k and the bullet whizzes past his head and he turns and catches Zen. This is becoming very expensive for Godsend. Esetag now on a 1v2. Needs to be careful of this secret push, though. That is the problem for him as he tries to take the jaw towards CT. He's really focusing this one versus one, and Farlik will take the kill. Previously, it was the ramp players rotating onto the B site. This time, it was a more aggressive rotation down the vents, and Astralis trying to speed things up. Only the pistols for the last round of the half, and it's not gone according to plan so far, although it might turn around for them, Dinko. They've got it into a 2v3, and they're going down to B. Well, both players sprinting down lower, and Sticko has the cross. Mads is crossing over, but Sticko couldn't take the kill. So still in with the chance here, Astralis, to win the round. But now that this rotation has come in with the second player, it's going to be quite difficult to hold the post plan. But Magis trusts in Esetag to hold the site. He turns his attentions back to the vent drop on the rotation and is able to take him down. But now one versus two for Magisk. He's collected two kills in the round already, but needs to double it to win this round. And the DP is coming through in the smoke as well. Farlig able to take Magisk down, and it's 9-6 at the half. What a turnaround from Godsend. A much better showing from them here on Nuke. And Glaive is playing up close. Quite a few players stacked at Yard for Astralis, and Godsend are about to fall into the trap. Glaive's behind them. This should be easy pickings. Glaive, no, he doesn't get the kill. He still can't find it, but his teammates are there to help him. And surely Madden's in trouble here. He's getting peaked. Everyone fighting him. He is screwed. Godsend, though, getting some kills elsewhere, maybe can get down to that B site. The advantage for Astralis. Now that bomb's starting to get planted on the lower site. Farlik has put the digits through and stick up. Trying to get back to the vent, but there's a player in there. He jumps over, and Glaive goes down. 
Now two versus two. Astralis looking for the retake. They run onto the bomb site. Farlick's head goes right down through the hole in the door. And now it's all on Sticko. Opens it wide. Device looking to hold the angle down. They're taking good damage. And Astralis are not on the bomb right now. Eventually, Magis will get through. He's holding the 10 second defuse. Sticko doing the damage. Hasn't landed the final shots though. And Astralis are going to pull off the defuse. It seems that the headshot from Sticko right on the final second. And he wins the round for God's sake. cannot afford to let up if you're god sent here and the time is ticking 35 seconds left for them they still have some nades and magus he's not ready one man has crept on in magus not gonna get the kill madden already out onto the site but the trades come back around dupree with two finally falls but astralis have the edge for now as the tyke oh i thought it had confirmed a kill at least there but his crosshair wasn't in the right spot and now it's glaive trying to do some chip damage 10 seconds is all they need to hold on for and then has to win a 1v2 he's been tied up and glaive swings around astralis pulling off the pistol upset the force by into the second round Glaive is indeed. He'll start to fall off the angle. Running back down. The Nid is going to come up on top and it finishes off Crystal. Enough bullets were delivered from the M4 to make that Nid cause immediate death. And now with the man advantage in play for Astralis, Glaive is going to back away. Turns his attentions instead over towards Decon. He's got Estatag holding a bit of a long range angle with his MP9. And Stickers is going to walk on down. Glaive, though, with the headshot. That's a missed opportunity for God's sake. And Device sweeping up to Astralis win the round without even losing a player. And that's against the full buy. And he go through those skylights so the Astralis will be under pressure. Blinded by his Mads. He drops into the site. Two pre caught out as well. And they've made it onto the bomb site, but the haul from Magic is good. Well, not really that good. He gets one kill and they've overrun him. Yeah, they didn't have many CTs on the A site itself and Device goes down. That's a smoke deployed by Glaive to S attack can peek over the top of. He can try and use it as a little one way. Try and isolate these fights. And he's already found Farley below. S attack makes it a second and a third. S attack raining down fire from above. S attack on the bottom of the ramp, the Molotov holding them back this time that was the problem for him in the last round his incendiary grenade was neutralized by the smoke now under a minute left Esetag will be under pressure he's taking an advanced stance trying to shut down the orb but he's caught in position somehow still gets one out of the nightmare but it's glaive with two finally Farlig answer back and a third kill for him in the round as well 21 and 14 Farlig has to ace the round though if he wants to win this for god's sake 25 seconds as well. First, he's got to get that bomb. Then he's got to guess where the players are coming from. He's got the bomb in his hands, but Device is still close by. And oh no, he's not ready. Nice shot from Device with the Deagle. The problem is it's only the pistols, but last time they had the pistols, they popped onto the A site and they actually made it a close round. So maybe they can try and do the same again. Oh, Maz is calling on, gets one to three blinded as well, but it doesn't matter. Three kills quickly coming in from Astralis. This is quick as you like. As soon as God sent, sent a couple of players in, they all get absolutely destroyed. 14 to 10 for Astralis. Touched on these opening kills in the past. This time, Farley gives them the early edge. And surely this time, they have to be aware that Glaive might be here. But S Attack gets aggressive. Great aggressive play. Great proactive play from S Attack to bring them back into the round. Godsent, though, are looking to wrap through heaven. Glaive through the smoke. Zen hitting the deck as well, but the round has been pulled back for Astralis. They handed. Man deficit to start the round by Far League, but the rest of the team have stepped up. But look at this round from Madden. Look at the positioning. He's found a hole in the defense. He's taking his time in that headshot, and he might just let Dupree go. Madden with the trigger discipline, wanting to hold the heaven position, wanting to hold the map control instead. He needs to help out Far League towards oh outside. The bomb is down there. The players just walk past him. How has Esetag managed this? He just walked right past Madden, turns around. Madden with the headshot, and now he has to do it all. A one versus three from up top of heaven. He'll drop on down. And they have got the bomb in their hands. 30 seconds left for Madden to try and do something here. And he's got to walk into the lion's den. Oh, I think he needed to take that kill earlier, Dinko. Farley was just completely alone at yard, watching every possible angle. And oh, mate, Madden, the quick switch. Not the time for it, buddy. On this T-side approach. <laughs> oh, no. There are going to be some memes about that tweet now, aren't they?
Nuke is T-sided, guys. Change my mind. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Thralls have done that. It happened quite quickly. It happened quite quickly. We'll see if they can pull it back, though. Essence like holding on to the ramp progression. Starting to run on through its crystal over the top with the MAC-10. And Device, quick with the shot and reply. 4v4, Dupree holding the lower sight. Crystal was not quite ready for that. And now Dupree looking to end the round. But it's Glib as well that can assist him. It's just one player, Sickle left alone. And Astralis will be walking away with the series win. As Dicko is screwed here, Device closes it out. It's another win for Astralis, this time a 2-0. After a dominant performance on the first map, Dinko, Nuke came closer. But I think once we headed into that second half, we saw what we wanted to see from Astralis.